Hi, so we've added these two great new features when it comes to editing. So if you go to the video editor, there's now an additional button. So trim has always been in there. It, it's the place where we can chunk up a large video into small chapters, for instance. Or we might have a Zoom meeting and the first 10 minutes is everybody saying, Canberra, can you hear me? Sydney, can you hear me? And you just want to cut that out. Cut is to remove parts of your video. So where would you do that? So you've got a video and you're happy with it, but halfway through a dog's barking or somebody's coughing and you just want to get rid of that part or several parts within the video. So the flow might be you do the cutting first, get rid of the parts, and then you might trim to break it up into chapters. So let's have a look at cut. So here's your video. It looks very similar if you're used to our editor and you'd say mark in and mark out. So what we're going to do is, and remember to always call this something, so we'll call this the cut version, which will be our final video, and we're going to add that cut. So that's telling us we're going to get rid of these parts. You keep watching a little bit more and you mark in, watch a bit more, mark out, add cut. So you can go through and do all your cuts and when you're ready you click on process cuts. And what that's going to do is make for you back in the video page a new video, which is the version, so that's why I called it cut version, it just helps me manage the uh, titles and knowing what th that's the original and this is the cut version. And it's got rid of all of those parts. And then I might want to, once this is processed, I might want to then trim that into chapters or it might be ready to be put into a course. But that trim feature is a really fantastic feature. You'll also might have noticed when I did the cutting, but also trim, which is what we're used to, we've now added microseconds. So we used to have a situation where you could only cut via a second, now it's down to the microsecond. So sometimes it used to be annoying to cut right when someone might have been talking or they had to take, didn't put enough gap between the place you wanted to edit. Now we've got the ability to add microsecond, cut through microseconds. So those two new features, we've now got cut and trim, two quite distinct things, and we've also broken it down into the microseconds, which is really exciting.